Sunday, February 12, 2012. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my Dehan Classic 3 folding bike. I'm actually hoping to finish up the rebuild today. Um, it's funny, I did a vi little video yesterday, and I posted it to YouTube, and the response I got was uh, uh, from somebody interested in the van again, <laughs> and they said, uh, basically, yeah, enough with the Dehan, uh, get to working on the engine swap. <laughs> so, uh, I appreciate your enthusiasm, uh, and I'm gonna, tr I really am gonna try to get to the van today. Uh, it is bitter cold outside, and, uh, that's one of the reasons I'm not rushing into the project. Uh, I do have the garage, but, uh, the garage is too small, the ceiling is too low, I can't pull the engine out of the van in the garage. It just can't be done. So the van would have to be moved out to the driveway for that. Um, uh, so I'm not eager to get started when it's this cold. I mean, I nearly got uh, sick yesterday here just working in the basement. So what I'm uh, planning to do, to do is hopefully finish up the Dehan today. And um, then uh, I'll go out to the garage and try to get a little video of the van. More or less, at this point, what I'm doing is uh, just taking a little bit of inventory and putting together a list of parts I have to buy for the van's engine. Um, but uh, that's pretty much all there is uh, to that at the moment. Uh, yesterday, one of the difficulties I ran into here on the Dehan uh, was just getting everything set up properly. Um, I now have the uh, crank reinstalled as well as the fork and the bearing it is moving smoothly now but the bearings do seem a bit notchy I um, I did look at the bearing cups when I cleaned them up and there was uh, some a little bit of denting in them from the bearings so those are damaged but uh, I wasn't able to locate new bearings or cups for this so uh, this will definitely be okay for for a while I probably won't even feel this too much while I'm riding it's infinitely better than it was before I mean, the, the bearings were dry, everything was loose, there was no grease in them. So, like I said, this is good for now. Um, yesterday I had a lot of trouble, uh, I didn't have a lot of trouble finishing up the hinge. I got this finally adjusted properly, drilled out the, uh, the hole for my new guide tube a little bit more, and that's working great now. Um, had a lot of difficulty setting up this uh, wheel right here. And uh, I'm still not certain I have it 100% correct. And I, have, I know I have the wheel itself mounted properly. Um, but I'm not sure if I was supposed to hook this spring here or all the way back here. I mean, back here just seems like way too far to stretch that spring. Um, so I'm going to take another look, see if maybe there's another place down here uh, where I was supposed to clip it uh, underneath. But really not sure about that so but anyhow it's working so um, you can see I got the got this hooked up again I have a um, I went out to Home Depot this morning I um, to mount the handlebar tube uh, through the piece here there's a um, there's a rod that gets uh, secured with a circlip and somewhere in disassembly I completely lost the circlip so I went out there to Home Depot and I was able to find a perfect match so I can uh, finish assembling the, uh, this portion right here um, also I had um, I had hoped to get some more of this sail blue paint but uh, not in spray form just in a little can uh, with a brush so I could do some touch up when everything's together so I did put a few very minor scratches on this uh, during reassembly but couldn't find it, so I just found another spray can. And if I need to do any touch-ups, uh, what I'll do is I'll spray the I'll spray the uh, can into into either the cap there or uh, or just a little container. Just spray a little bit in there and go with a brush, and that'll do just uh, the same thing. So, I'm gonna get uh, working here, and um, I believe first I'm going to. Uh, finish setting up the uh, handlebar tube. So, I'm going to get on that right now. Oh, also, I got, um, one thing I realized was that, uh, where's that, there's two places. Right here uh, behind the crank, you'll see this uh, little cotter pin holding this wheel on, and 
right here there should be one also but you can see I bent a little nail through there yesterday because that uh, that cotter pin was missing anyhow I found new cotter pins uh, at Home Depot so I'm going to replace those both I did this here because I didn't know what else to do and I obviously didn't want to leave that unsecured but it's sloppy it's not correct so I'm going to put a correct circlip in today uh, that was just kind of my um, last resort uh, uh, and option there but looks like I have a new one so also you can see here the chain uh, does have a bit of surface rust on it but you can see I'm scraping that away with my uh, thumb there and the chain actually is in good shape despite this and once I have oil on here you probably won't even see that uh, I had the chain soaking in degreaser for weeks I may still spray it down with some brake cleaner again uh, maybe one more time but uh, uh, the chain is still in good usable condition. So I'm going to continue on and I'll post more video update later. Just wanted to post another update and I am uh, probably nearly done for the day here. Uh, as you can see I had the handlebars all mounted. Uh, the front wheel and the front brakes are on and the rear wheel is going on as is the uh, rear brakes. So not much left to do except for uh, buttoning up the rear wheel, uh, getting the chain on, uh, obviously putting the seat back in, and getting the rest of the cables done. I have the uh, I have a new cable up front there, uh, new brake pads uh, front and rear, so I'm going to keep going. Looks like I'm uh, close to running out of tape, so I'm not going to uh, do a lot of talking. Okay, uh, the Dehan folding bike is complete and back together. Um, as for what I did today, I got the uh, handlebar assembly done, uh, new cables, obviously I remounted the wheels, uh, mounted the chain, uh, put the seat in. Uh, all in all, this uh, as simple as this project looks, it was actually a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Um, it's together now, but I really can't give it a test ride because it's, uh, uh, it's getting dark out there and it's cold as... Well, it's cold as anything out there, so I'm going to leave that for another weekend. Uh, and I know I'm actually going to have to um, uh, do some fine-tuning. I'm pretty sure I don't have the uh, uh, the shifter set up correctly. Uh, I've, I've never actually uh, tuned a uh, Sturmy Archer 3-gear uh, hub, so... I'm sure it's not correct. I only seem to be able to uh, access the first two gears. Uh, I can't seem to click the can't seem to click the lever into uh, the third gear. So we'll see what's going on there. Long term, who knows? I might just convert it out to single speed. But uh, the bike is done and <laughs> certainly looks uh, one hell of a lot better than it did when I bought it. So that's all for this project. I won't show any of the video for. Uh, for fine-tuning it. It's all together now. I'm going to finish this out probably, you know, maybe a little later in the season. Uh, but now I'm going to be concentrating on the van, which uh, people have asked for. So uh, this is Mercedes Diesel Guy signing off on the uh, Dehan Folding 3, uh, Dehan Classic 3 Folding Bike Project. Thanks for watching.